Yo, don't question my authority, okay? Are you sitting here in this meat suit I call a body? Are you in my head? Are you facing the things that I'm facing on a day-to-day -day basis? Are you making the decisions that I'm making to pull up, to get this shit together, to move forward in my life? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Oh, that's right. You're not. So don't question my authority. Don't question my life. Don't question what it is I'm doing because you're not in it. Hello everyone, welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. So this is going to be your general energy reading for your day, for your moment, for whenever you find it, yeah? Please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also, this is a timeless reading. Whenever you're guided to watch this reading and it resonates, then that's the message for you in that moment, yeah? Uh, as always, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I love hearing for you, from you guys, so definitely share your comments in this comment section below. And also, I recommend that you may want to try and watch as much as the, of the reading as you can, um, because... As, as I said, it's a general reading, so not everything is going to resonate with everyone, but if you, potentially if you listen to the full message or, you know, if you can get through the full reading, you'll most likely find bits and pieces that you can take in that will resonate for you, yeah? As always, there are uh, timestamps in the comment section below, as well as the pinned comment below. Go ahead and check those out. We had a really awesome <clears throat> happy hour session last night. Uh, in which um, we, I, I did a channeled reading, or I, I, I expanded on the message for the collective in terms of like needing to rest and needing balance and everything in our lives. So if you haven't had a chance to check that out yet, I highly recommend that you do so. There are timestamps in there so you can get straight to the reading. The link to that can be found up in the top right of your screen, also in the description box and the pinned comments down below. Um, I do want to tell you guys a little bit of a story for this morning, so if you want to skip this minor little story time, go ahead and hit the comment, uh, hit the timestamps, and we, you can get straight to the reading, yeah? But something really funny happened this morning, and I really want to share it with you guys. So, as you know, we're all freaking exhausted right now, right? Like, and I do, th I do kind of, I, we, I never really said this, um, because it wasn't a major point, but I do think it has a lot to do with the full moon. We're just feeling the effects of the full moon. It's all been so powerful lately that it's just like, it came and just hit us like a ton of bricks, right? So, okay, we're all really tired right now. That's fine. But you know what? We're going to persevere. We're going to push through. We're going to get this shit going, right? So it was... Finally, it finally came to about 6.30 in the morning. Um, I had been up on and off since like 3.30 because Orion liked to, likes to do his morning thing of like wailing at the top of his lungs until he can go outside. So, okay, fine. Um, and then he, an hour later, he came back and was like, okay, I'm ready to come back in now. It's like, no, fuck you. I'm asleep. Okay. So, <laughs> so finally 6.30 rolls around. Um, I had kind of woken up at like 10 to 6 and was just like, I don't want to get out of bed. And finally, um, I, and I kind of fell like a little bit back to sleep, right? And so um, at one point, I was just kind of laying there in between like asleep and awake. And I got this flash <laughs> of an image of me sitting as if I'm like sitting here doing a reading for you guys. I was wearing a pink shirt. I had my hair up in a, in a bun and a top knot on the top of my head and I was holding cards like I was doing a reading. And as I saw that image, I heard, you have things to do. And it's like, oh, okay, fine, spirit, I'm up, I'm up, I'm getting up, <laughs> I'm getting up. <laughs> I mean, like, it wasn't, I didn't find it to be, like, offensive or irritating or anything. I actually thought it was really funny. And for me, it's kind of, it was kind of an affirmation that, like, you know, come on, Eric, get up and do your thing, like, let's go. And, and part of that, part of the reason why that actually is really so important for me is that I have been, I've kind of been in a little bit of a limbo energy this week. Um, and part of me, because of that, part of me has been asking 
the question like, am I doing the right thing? Am I on the right path? Is this the right, like, should I be doing something else? And it got to the point where my higher self was like, no, stop asking me that question. You know you're doing the right thing. I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure, I'm so sorry. So then, so then when I had that experience this morning, that flash, I was like, <laughs> okay, spirit, I see what you did there. It was really cute. I, I, I actually, I really appreciated it. I didn't necessarily appreciate the kick in the ass to get out of bed, but at the same time, I, impre I appreciated the image. It was cute. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to tell you guys that because I thought you'd appreciate it. All right. So we're going to get into today's reading. Um, and I'm using the Witch's Tarot. The witch's tarot, and I stopped for a second because I was like, I heard in the in my head, I'm, I'm I heard the mystical manga deck, and I'm sitting here like, wait a second, I just asked you guys which is best, and they're saying no, 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 the witch's tarot is fine. Okay, all right, great. So we're using that, and then we're using the Los Carabello deck for clarification. Yes, or should we use the after deck after the after tarot? After tarot is better. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so instead of the mystical manga, we're gonna go. I'm sorry, instead of the you see, I, my brain is just loopy. Instead of going with the uh, Los Carabello deck, we're going with the After Tarot for our clarification. Yes? All right, guys. Let's get into this here and see what we have for the collective today. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve their highest good and the highest good of all involved. Please give, us, please give us clear and accurate representation of the energies in terms of these situations, situationships, circumstances, romances, relationships, and places of which we all need it the most. Thank you so very much spirit all right guys i stopped there for a second because i asked a few days ago i asked you guys which was which was grammatically correct of which or in which and someone gave a really excellent answer who used to be a um uh an english teacher someone who used to be an english teacher gave a really excellent answer thank you so much for that but i had to stop and think about it and like remind myself and i still don't feel like i did it correctly but like whatever Let's, <laughs> it's not like it really matters that much. All right, let's get into this. I'm gonna give this fire shuffles, guys. This is one. Moaning coffee. This is two. Collective tarot reading, yeah? This is three. This is four. And this is five. All right, y'all. What's going on with the collective today? I, I know, I know we're all exhausted, but like, all right, what else? <laughs> What's going on with the collective today, please, Spirit? What do you want to discuss with us today? What would you like to discuss with us today, please, Spirit? There are things flipping out, but they're actually not. They're flipping over, but they're not actually coming out of the deck, which is okay. Because I can find them. Uh, first card, main card, right now. Two cards have fallen on the table. One of them is face up, and that is the chariot. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Okay. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the Seven of Wands, okay? So definitely defending your right to move forward in the way that you see best. Um, it, seems, it seems like some of you or some of us are at a crossroads here. You have the Chariot of which this is telling me 
that you're moving forward in the right direction, okay? Uh, but it seems maybe you're at a crossroads right now. You do have the Two of Wands with the Page of Swords. So, um, <clears throat> interesting. And then you have one more card here that's face down. It is the Six of Wands. What this is kind of telling me, you guys, is that you are, you're either at a crossroads or you're defending your right to choose. Either you're defending your right to choose or you're defending the choice that you've made, or you're moving forward uh, quickly. You're moving forward in an energy of deep alignment with yourself, but it feels like you're coming up against something here. At the bottom of the deck, you have the Seven of Wands. Underneath that, you have the Queen of Cups to the Knight of Wands. Honestly, you guys, this feels, the, what I'm hearing is you're defending your honor. There may be some, there may be somebody around you, some people around you. There may be a circumstance that you are finding yourself in, or maybe this is a sense of questioning coming from within you, but there could be something or someone that's questioning you right now. Page of Swords with the Two of Wands. Questioning your, your, the decision that you've made. Questioning the path you've chosen. Or this could be coming from you, which... Which, which, which is weird because you do have this chariot energy, which is telling me that you're in alignment. And the rest of this is saying with the seven of wands to the queen of cups, what I'm feeling here is you're very emotionally aware of where it is you're going and why it is you're doing what you're doing. And again, I just feel like you're defending your honor. You're defending your right to choose. You're defending the, the, the direction that you're moving in. Yeah, look, because, okay, continuing at the bottom of the deck, because what we have here next under the Knight of Wands is the Seven of Pentacles to the Three of Wands, to the Four of Wands, wow, to the Ten of Cups, look at that, you guys. So, but most importantly, what, what this is saying, the Seven of Pentacles to the Three of Wands, what this is saying to me here for you guys is that um, you learned a valuable lesson or you've come up against a situation in which you're either done with it you have learned what you needed to learn, you've experienced what you've needed to experience, or you've gotten all that it is that you could get out of this situation, and now you're moving forward. And there could be someone, I definitely, I definitely, when we get into the clarification section, I definitely wanna clarify this page of swords because it just feels like somebody is questioning you. Somebody or something, some element to your reality may be causing you to question yourself, maybe causing, like, like, like with me, like I said in story time, you know, I've been in, in, in an energy of, yes, I'm very much in alignment with myself <clears throat> and I'm moving forward, you know, very in a very strong manner in my life right now. But there is still a little bit of a part of me that was saying, am I going in the right direction? Am I doing the right thing? Did I make the right choice here or should I be choosing something else? But then the message from my higher self was, Eric, stop asking me that question because you know you're going in the right direction. Seven of Wands, Queen of Cups, Knight of Wands. There also could be someone that's questioning your emotional reality or your emotional stability. They may see you as... Okay, they may see you as emotionally volatile, but that's not the case. You're actually not emotionally volatile. You're, you're actually very emotionally aware and emotionally balanced, and you have a good amount of boundaries here, but... Their perspective, this is, I don't know who this is for. This, is, this feels like a very specific situation, but if, if somebody is out there questioning your emotional stability, I wouldn't take it to heart. I would take it with like, uh, like six pounds, a six pound bag of salt <laughs> because they're not willing to focus on their emotional reality. They're, they, for whomever this is for, Whoever is questioning your emotional stability right now, they're of a different op, uh, uh, of a, of a different um, mindset or a different perspective, a different point of view that does not allow them the. I want to say ability to focus on their re emotional reality the way that you have. You're way more emotionally aware and they're not. And because of that, they see you as like 
all over the place with their, your emotions, this, that, and the third, but they just, they don't understand. They haven't come to terms with their emotions the way that you have. So don't let them question you like that. Okay. Either way, you guys, you have a victory here with the six of wands. This is definitely a personal victory. All right. Whether it is you're questioning yourself, you're questioning your direction or someone else around you or some element of your reality is causing this questioning to happen, you're going in the right direction and you do have a victory here. Keep up your boundaries, okay? Um, I wanna see what's next in this story then. Let's see, what else? What's next in this storyline? Oh damn, see now, yeah, look, now we've got the King of Cups. All right, so you really need to keep your emotional stability in check. Um, don't let somebody question you too much. I mean, if they do, yeah, if, yeah, you guys, this is all about the choice that you've made to move in the direction that you're moving. You have the lovers here now, which the lovers, yes, can talk about a love relationship. It often, if it does talk to, talk about love relationships, it, um, it's like deep soulmate situations, twin flame situations, divine partnerships, that kind of thing. But ultimately, the lovers is about a choice. And like I always say, it's a choice between vice or virtue, okay? And I do believe you've chosen virtue, whatever that means for you in your life specifically. But you have the king of cups here with the three of wands again, all right? Hold your emotional center. Hold your emotional boundaries. Don't let anybody get under your skin. Don't let anybody try to manipulate you. I swear to you guys, if somebody is coming through trying to <laughs> knock you off your high horse, don't worry about that, okay? You've gone through the, like I just heard, you have the emotional training under your belt to get past that, to get through that, to recognize that the way that they're coming at you is more of a reflection of them in their reality than it is of you. It has nothing to do with you <clears throat> because you're here. Not only did you have the Queen of Cups, but now you have the King of Cups. And the King of Cups is providing you with that emotional stability, that emotional wherewithal to continue through, to push through, to follow through with what you've chosen. And even like this, this King of Cups and Three of Wands energy is kind of feeling like the Nine of Wands right now. But it's not because you're not like battered and bruised, maybe. You might, you're exhausted, okay, <laughs> you're exhausted, but... But the Nine of Wands is all about persevering. Keep going. Just keep swimming. Don't look back. Don't stop now. You're almost there. Keep going, right? But that's the determination that I'm getting from this energy of the King of Cups and the Three of Wands. You do have one more card here that's fallen face down. It's the fucking Emperor, yo. Yo, don't question my authority, okay? Are you sitting here in this meat suit I call a body? Are you in my head? Are you facing the things that I'm facing on a day-to-day -day basis? Are you making the decisions that I'm making to pull up, to get this shit together, to move forward in my life? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you. Oh, that's right, you're not. So don't question my authority, don't question my life, don't question what it is I'm doing because you're not in it. And oh, quite, oh, by the way, quite frankly, I don't see you jumping through hoops to try and help me. All I see is you trying to stop me. So fuck off, right? The emperor. <laughs> yeah, look, at the bottom of the deck, underneath the lovers, you have judgment or karma, and then you have the six of pentacles to the tower. To the Four of Pentacles, to the Ace of Cups, to Justice, um, to the Ace of Pentacles, right. You're moving in the right direction here, kids. Three of Pentacles and the world. Okay, yeah, you're moving in the right direction. Um, now, specifically, what I want to talk about here at the bottom of the deck, the Four of Pentacles <clears throat> is is feeling like so holding on to something, but this is, this is, I feel like this is holding on to yourself, holding on to your physical reality in a way that, um, is in better alignment with you or you're just holding on to this next phase that is much better in alignment with you you're also it does feel like some of you are holding on while uh the tower falls or certain situations in your life fall out of your life you're you're, you're batting it this is this is like this is like a batten down the hatches type of energy hold down the fort kids we've got a storm rolling through we just got to ride this shit out Okay, 
And this is all coming from a place of unconditional love for the self and for others too, but for the self, Ace of Cups. And that's what's bringing justice into your life and a new opportunity that you're working diligently towards in order to end an old cycle. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, let's move forward and get some clarification here. I want to talk about this Page of Swords and the Two of Wands energy with that. All right. So what's this questioning energy? I'm going to give this three shuffles. <laughs> All right, here we go. Three shuffles. One. This is two. And this is three. We're going to take this one. It's the Knight of Pentacles. Excellent. So starting you off, we're starting off with the Knight of Pentacles that is clarifying the Two of Wands and the Page of Swords. So if you are, because I do kind of feel like this might be some internal questioning a little bit as well. But if you are questioning yourself here, just keep in focus what it is you've set out to do. That's what the Knight of Pentacles is saying. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Eight of Swords. This is what you're doing. You're breaking yourself free from confinement. Okay, and you have to just allow your ego to like take the back seat or just like be co-pilot for a hot second. The emperor to the hanged man, nine of pentacles, the world. This is all just at the bottom of the deck. We haven't even pulled yet. But um, you're moving forward. You're cutting yourself free. All right. You're standing on your own. You're ending a cycle. So. In terms of this energy, Two of Wands and the Page of Swords, if you find yourself questioning yourself, saying to yourself, like I said, like I've been doing kind of, am I doing the right thing? Like, are you sure? You're sure this is the right, this is the right direction, right? Yes. Keep going. Okay. In some cases, if you really are building something new or really working on manifesting some new phase in your life or new reality in your life or new opportunity... It still feels like we're, we're kind of still in the beginning phases of it. We have to keep going. We have to keep pushing. I mean, this is a pivotal time. Yeah. We're setting the foundation here for whatever is new, but we just have to keep going. Okay. Let's get some more. So two of wands and the page of swords. What else can you say for us about that? Please, spirit? Two of wands, page of swords. What else what do you want to say about that? For the collective. Oh, that was too much. <laughs> um, interesting. There was a bunch of cards that wanted to come out. I'm going to get a little, I'm going to try it one more time because there were a bunch of cards that wanted to come out and I heard take all of those, but I was already in the process of <clears throat> of putting them back in the deck. Uh, let's talk about what we have so far, though. We have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Six of Wands again, but the Six of Wands is in reverse here. And I guess what I want to say is it doesn't feel like a victory yet. Whatever it is you're moving forward towards or whatever it is you've chosen, it doesn't necessarily feel like a victory yet. But what also, the Six of Wands that came out, it fell out over here on top of the Emperor, the Three of Wands, and the King of Cups. So again, this is just an energy of saying you have to keep going because victory is coming, okay? Your personal win is, you're on your way to it. It doesn't feel like it yet, but, it's, but you're heading towards it. Whatever it is you've chosen, whatever it is you're moving forward towards, this is what you're ultimately going to end up with, the Six of Wands. Recognition, personal victory, uh, whatever. Okay, I, but I want to get. I, I do want to get a little bit more. At the bottom of the deck, you do have the Four of Wands, but underneath that, you have <clears throat> the Ten of Wands to the Empress, Seven of Wands back to the King of Cups, the Devil, but Temperance underneath that. Um, I 
okay, it just feels like a burden right now. There's just so much. There's just so much involved with it right now. But you have the support. You have the abundance. You have the unconditional love flowing to you from the universe to get this done. You just have to keep your boundaries up and keep pushing through because you know it's the right thing to do no matter what the devil says to you, right? Keep that balance. Maintain that balance, okay? All right, but I am going to pull a little bit more for this ace of wands with the six of wands in reverse what else do you want to say about that please spirit ace of wands six of wands in reverse ace of wands six of wands in reverse ace of wands upright six of wands in reverse that's it okay back to the eight of swords <clears throat> with yeah okay with the fool and the nine of wands there's the nine of wands the fool is in reverse but the fool is in reverse because this is, this is saying that you've already taken the leap. Just keep moving forward. Don't stop now. It may not feel like a victory right now, but this, again, remember, this is what you're working towards. Okay? Eight of Swords is at the bottom of the deck. Underneath the Eight of Swords is the, the world to the Nine of Pentacles. Again. Okay? You're working on breaking yourself free. And what Spirit just said was this is long-term effects. Okay, we're we're we don't have the ten of pentacles yet. We might get that, but um, spirit said long term effect. So we're looking at the long term. This is not this is not a situation that's going to be be providing some sort of instant gratification. Knight of Pentacles, no, no. Hate to break it to you, hate to burst your bubble, but no, we're not talking instant gratification here because that's not what we're setting ourselves up for. We're setting us up for long-term victory. This is a long-term situation, okay? <clears throat> You've effectively taken the leap of faith, and that's great, but you got to keep going. you got to keep going. You've got to persevere. You've got to move forward. You've got to take it day by day, step by step, yes? Don't question yourself so too much or so much. You know you're moving in the right direction. All right. So last thing I want to talk about here then is the King of Cups, the Three of Wands, and the Emperor energy here. Yes? Okay. So what is this spirit? What can you say for us in terms of this? King of Cups, Three of Wands, Emperor. What can you say? What do you want to say to clarify this, please, spirit? Just some clarity. <laughs> okay. Okay. Empress is at the bottom of the deck. You have the Emperor and the Empress showing up here. All right. Uh, this is definitely a moment where your ego is kind of flaring, getting in the way. Strength is in reverse, but then it's with the Ace of Swords. Uh, interestingly enough, what I kind of want to say now is um, I definitely feel like Many of us have gone through an ego death recently or a certain level of an ego death. And there may be elements of that that are kind of, you know, flaring up right now with strength in reverse. Okay. Um, I just, I get the feeling that there are parts of you or there are parts of your ego or there may be egos of other people or anything that are that are getting in the way like I'm hearing that are kind of trying to stop you in your tracks from moving in the direction that you've chosen but then you have this ace of swords here which is clarity with this which is truth which is victory also okay but what this is saying to me is like you know deep down where you're going or why you're going in this direction, or why you're doing this. So don't let this stop you. This is just a moment of, of this is a moment of weakness when it comes to the ego, and that's natural. Okay, I don't want you to start beating yourself up about it when you hear that phrase, a moment of weakness. Like no, and this could very well be just the fact that we're so exhausted right now that it's like. You know, you're kind of questioning everything because you're not quite sure. You really just want to sleep. And, you know, it, it, that's kind of what I'm getting here, why strength is in reverse. Because this is 
kind of a moment of weakness. This is a moment where, you know, our energy is a little bit low, but it's not anything bad. It's just that we've been working so hard and it's just this time period. We just have to push through it. So even though your ego may be questioning things or you may be questioning things, you still know the truth here. And that's where the King of Cups comes in, okay? Because the King of Cups is like, no, I know what's going on here. I know exactly what I'm doing. And I'm going to continue to do this even though it's not very easy right now. And the Emperor is that fixed energy. I mean, they're both fixed energies with the King of Cups and the Emperor, but the Emperor is also really that fixed energy that's coming through saying, we're gonna continue down this path that we've chosen. Three of Wands. And then the Empress is here at the bottom of the deck, providing you with that loving, nurturing energy, even though things feel pretty burdensome right now. We just want to drop all of these wands and just like chill for a second, but we can't necessarily do that right now. Or at least you can only, we can only do it so much. There's, we still have to just push through. Okay. All right. Last thing I want to clarify here. Is the six of wands and the chariot. I just want to get a little bit of. Just a little bit of information for you guys, for us, in terms of the Six of Wands and the Chariot, in terms of this personal victory, this recognition, and this alignment moving forward, yeah? Six of Wands and the Chariot, please, Spirit, what can you tell us about that? What else do you want to say about the... Oh, shoot. Well, this flipped over, and I didn't see it until now. But we'll take it now. Beautiful energy. You have the world. Okay, completion, closing of a cycle, moving on to the next phase in your life. You have the tower, which flipped over while I was clarifying something else. It might have been while I was clarifying uh, the King of Cups, the Emperor, and the Three of Wands, where we had Strength in Reverse and the Ace of Swords. But I'm going to take it now. I mean, it still feels relevant, but we still we have the tower here, all right? There's a massive change is happening. And this, okay, this could have actually very well be why we're feeling so tired because so much energy is being expended in ending the old cycle, bringing that shit down, like whatever. And this is natural, okay? And not only do we have to work to bring it down, but then we have to work to build it up later on. But this still feels like a lot of why we might be so tired. The tower energy plus the star here, plus the 10 of cups. Okay, so what, are, what is your personal victory? What are you moving towards here? You're moving towards the end of a cycle that's effectively breaking yourself, breaking yourself free from some sort of confinement or just a mental prison here, okay? And you're moving forward towards ultimate wish fulfillment and happiness, healing, again, and wish fulfillment with the Star and the Ten of Cups, but also there are some things that are coming down. Don't question my authority here, says this energy. I know what it is I'm doing. I know what direction I'm moving in, and I really don't need your advice or input. I mean, what do you want me to say? <laughs> All right, guys. Let's close this reading with some oracle guidance. And I'm being instructed to go with the crystal mandala. Crystal Manzola, yeah? Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. Three shuffles. One. Two. And three. All right, guys, closing Oracle Guidance for today's reading. I love this. Card number 33, Ascendant Master Helios and Citrine. Your time to shine. And I just saw 33, 33 on the counter. Three threes, 33, 333, three, three, whatever. Look, that up. Look up that number. Yeah, it, that's, that's a special message for us here right now. So look that up, see what that means for you, yes? 
Here we go. Your time to shine. We bring you the blessing of your time to shine. On the divine path, you gain empowerment through surrender and alignment with divine consciousness greater than your own. As you choose to surrender into higher consciousness through prayer and intention, you are held in a field of divine protection. You also gain strength, wisdom, and understanding. You release fear and gain love's power. You become increasingly radiant, discovering more of your own divine identity. At some point on your path, whilst this is always happening for you on the inner planes, you will be ready to perform a similar function on the outer planes in the world of forms. This is when you will be asked to bravely shine your light to help those in need, perhaps lost or in darkness of some sort in the physical world. Yeah. Again, don't question my authority. I know what it is that I'm doing. I know about the choices that I've made and I know what I'm moving forward towards. And you're being asked, see, this is literally that time where we went through a massive internal shift right? We did all that internal work and now it's time to bring that to the external. And yes, when we're talking about energy and manifestation here, your inner reality is a direct reflection of your external reality, right? But, and as you change your inner vibration, as you work on your energy from within, yes, there are natural elements to your external reality that are just going to shift without you having to really do anything else. But there are still some situations or still some elements of this shift in which you are going to have to take physical action, right? And this is, this is basic working with the universe 101, manifest, co-creating with the universe 101. Like you get yourself into your energetic vibration. What's going on, Orion? Are you dying? Mr. K-Cat? Oh, now you want to be quiet. No, I'm fine. Oh, okay. Anyway, so yes, you... <laughs> now I lost my train of thought. You have to get into that alignment, that vibrational alignment. You do that work. But then, co-creation with the universe 101. You work with your energies, and then your energies reflect out into the universe. But you're still going to have to take certain physical steps. It's not about just like sitting here all cute and pretty in your queen of wands energy, feeling your alignment, feeling yourself all kinds of fabulous and sexy and all that shit, right? And then all of a sudden the universe just hands everything that you want to you without even lifting, having to lift a finger. No, it doesn't work that way, darling. You have to get into your queen of wands alignment first, and then you get into your king of wands alignment so that as you're sitting here all hot, sexy, and pretty, just spewing all kinds of, of energy, right? And all kinds of, you know magnetism you have to wait for that moment to strike or you have to wait for that window of opportunity or that door of opportunity to open for you and then you have to take action and go after it do your part in the manifestation the universe isn't going to do everything for you that's where the king of wands comes in because he sits back y'all heard me say this all the time he sits back chilling knowing what he wants not letting anybody tell him he can't get it or can't do it right and he's waiting for that right moment to strike. And as soon as that moment opens up, there he goes, like a flash of lightning. You probably didn't even see him make the move. He's just so slick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he's, take, he's taking the action when the time is right. And so that's what this is speaking to us. So this is what this is saying to us right now, especially with, all, with this whole reading. You're moving forward. Now is the time for the action in the physical world to help with the universe to co-create what it is that you are creating or what it is that you are trying to manifest in your life. I know we're tired. Spirit knows we're tired too. But there is a level of assurance that's coming through saying, you just got to push through. You just got to persevere. Trust me, you're going to thank me in the end. Says even our future selves. Yes? Okay, guys. I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so freaking much. I hope you have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yes? Excellent. Take care. Mwah! Bye.